And we haven't really scratched the surface. <laughs> we, we haven't. You know, so let's continue. Let's continue. Russia nil. Croatia nil. Havatska played in the Luzniki Stadium, Moscow. So it's not a bad result to pick up a nil-nil draw against, uh, against Russia on the road without, without Luka Modric. Don't know the circumstances behind him missing the game. I don't know if he wasn't released or whatnot. So Adam, if you have anything else on that one, let me know. Let me know. The bench is kind of light though. I got to say the bench has a lot of new faces on the bench. But one thing I have to say to that Zlatko Dalic, bro. What is your beef? What is your beef against Mislav Osic? Osic has to start games. Osic has to start. I don't... Listen, you, you'll have to put Vlasic in the center and put Osic out wide or something. But I think with Osic in the team, you give yourself a better chance of winning games. He could come off as an impact sub, but bring him on earlier for God's sake, man. Bring him on a bit earlier. Croatia did get a few chances. I could remember that Kramaric chance, but it was like a snapshot. He didn't really have enough time to, to, to settle on that. But overall, it was not the most entertaining of games. Russia did threaten on a few occasions, but it again wasn't the most entertainment entertain entertainment, right? It wasn't a well put together entertainment package. So gotta give it to Zachariah here, a youngster who made his debut on the day. Arsene Zachariah, Mario Fernandez, and Guilherme, both naturalized Brazilians as well. And Alexi Miranchuk played as a false nine on the day. You had regulars like Golovin and Barinov, along with Kuzyaev and Karavayev on the team. So, Igor Akinfeyev no longer plays for the national team. We know he has moved on. And the Russian national team has a new manager. His name is Valery Karpin. Let's see how long he lasts. Zlatko Dalic is in his fourth year managing Croatia. And I'm pretty sure a lot of Croatians want him out. Because he does a lot of BS sometimes, man. Not sometimes, all the time. You see what I mean? Croatia will qualify for the World Cup, in my opinion. I think both these teams from this group will qualify this from, from to the World Cup. But you never know, man. You never know. You never know. You can't write off the other teams. But that's my picks from this group, Croatia and Russia, to qualify for the World Cup. But I'm having Croatia go through to the playoffs, though. They, they play too many games. Playoffs. Playoffs. Nil-nil. Oh, one, main, one big thing I have to talk about in terms of this match Big up to my boy, Borna Sosa, who really wanted to play for Germany, very, very badly wanted to play for Germany. That didn't work out, and he is now playing for Croatia. Croatia needed to strengthen their left-back position, right? They needed, they needed to strengthen their left. The left-back position was their most, their weakest position, in my opinion, and I think they have found a player in Borna Sosa, and also Yashko Vardial, who does play left back as well. But Vardial suffered a, a little setback. So you could have Vardial over on the right. Because right back has been an issue as well with Shimi Vasaliko always injured. So look, Croatia, we know the golden generation just made it to the World Cup um, final. And there was a golden generation back in 1998 as well. But they could build. They could build on this. They could really build on this. They have Mateo Kovacic still around as um, Adam the Greatest State in here. And they have a few good youngsters to actually work on going forward. Antonio Marin, I think, deserves some more opportunity in this setup. You have to trust in the youth because when the older guys decide to retire, like last minute, like, yeah, I retire then you're scampering. You're really scampering. It's really nice also to see if it's uh, Olic and Vedran Chaluka as part of the coaching staff as well. That's a good look. That would all definitely help the national team, two veterans there. So Croatia, they looked okay. And I think they sh they're lucky not to, to lose the match. A point in Russia on the road is a big point. Russia will be ruined the fact that they, they allow Croatia to, to pick a point off them in their backyard. So that's my thoughts on this game. I think it was a it was a fair result. No team really lit up the day. 
But, um, yeah, nothing else to add. Nothing else to really add.